Hey guys, this is Tim Michael from TimMichaelArts.com. I just want to say thank you so much for, you know, just watching my videos. Uh, two, three days ago, I used to put up comments and stuff like that in my videos saying, Hey guys, you know, you should come and watch my videos and you should give me advice on what I should draw and blah blah this and blah blah that. And no one would respond back because I only had about 30 viewers and no one was really interested, you know. And now that I have this video that I put up on Evan's channel on Cartoon Block of the caricature of Evan, now I have over 200 subscribers, and you all are more than willing to talk with me, and it is so much fun. So anyway, guys, I'm having a blast. The past two days have been, like, just just incredible. So I just wanted to say thank you for that. And uh, I got a comment from uh, someone uh, called Darknercom, and he was asking me, how do you... Um, make your pre-made uh, swatches like um, so maybe you don't like the ones that come with the um, come with the Photoshop maybe you want to come up with your own that way you're not having to continually go back to the color area here um, you can just select them from this area here and paint them up how do you do that so I told him I'd make a very quick uh, tutorial on how to do that of course once I start drawing I don't stop so Sorry guys, just uh, just having some fun here. Anyway, um, I find that uh, I go a little bit darker shadow than this, so this is perfect because usually I just go right in here and I select the darker color and then I go in. But let's go ahead and make a swatch. It's really easy to make a swatch, and it's so easy you're gonna laugh. You know, for those of you who don't know how, it's it's this simple. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select my shadow just to know how deep that shadow is gonna be and go into my palette here. It's already got the shadow selected. So let's go just a little bit deeper. Eh, maybe a bit deeper yet. Yeah, that'll work. And now that I have the deeper tone selected that I want to make a swatch of, I simply go over here and I hit this button here. And this creates the new swatch. And then you can double click it and you can rename it. So I'm going to call this um, Deep Shadow. Hit enter and now it's selected and whenever I want it I can go in here and I can select my deep shadow and I can go in here and uh, continue coloring and that's all there is to it it's really that simple I, there was really no need to even make a tutorial about it but I admit I enjoy um, making these videos and uh, it's easier to explain by showing than it is to uh, uh, than it is to do otherwise and uh, my suggestion when you're trying to select skin tone palettes is to um, you know have colors that are really close together so like here's my base tone my base tone is is always what I color in first this is what the person's skin looks like in a neutral environment and then when you get the shadow then you have the deeper tone when you have the highlight I have two sets of highlights so like this so it's a very small difference and then I have the lighter tone and then I have the pinpoint highlight which is when I just hit like little dots on their cheeks and on their nose to make it stand out look a little shiny um, and then of course you have your deeper shadows like that and so when I start as you saw here I always start with the base tone and then I work my way into the dark and then I work my way into the light and I find that works out the best and as you can see just by doing a selection like this and then going just a little bit lighter in the middle and then going a little bit lighter yet and then putting the pinpoint in there it already looks like it's rising off the paper and that's you know the the goal that you're trying to get you're trying to get that that feeling of uh, roundness uh, that's what every artist is looking for when it comes to doing, you know, these faces and making them pop out or, you know, go in. And if you want to go in, if you want to go in, um, instead of come out towards the camera, you want to go in, then you do the same thing. You work off the base tone. So we'll select the base tone. And then inside the base tone, we'll go a little bit darker. Inside that one, we'll go a little bit darker. It's kind of like looking down the barrel of a gun and uh, I hope that you've never looked down the barrel of a gun um, but it looks like it goes in and then if you need to you can kind of blend it and there's different ways to blend um, I use mixer brushes and um, blending tools the mixer brush usually does pretty good though because you can kind of blend that out and you see how it kind of goes inward so that's 
the very quick tutorial on how to make swatches and how to make colors kind of stand off the paper a little bit. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. It has been so much fun answering your comments and making your making these videos. I'm going to have a celebrity caricature come up as soon as I can catch up with some of these paid caricatures. If you're interested in buying a caricature, you can do it at my website, timmichaelarts.com, and just go to the Buy a Caricature section. Uh, you can read my web comics. They're free, and I love it if you guys would leave comments on there and uh, let me know what you think of those comics. Please make sure to keep them clean and, and like as much as possible and uh, guys here on these channels rate subscribe and comment make sure to keep those comments clean all right god bless you all i will talk to you later if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and i'm having a blast so i'll probably make a tutorial even if it takes 50 seconds <laughs> all right god bless you guys see you later